Good morning. My happy hour back. Here's the plan. It'll be a day of more floor tiling. It'll be a day of more skim coating. It'll be a day of more weatherproofing on the outside of the house. It'll be a day of probably a bit more painting. It'll be a day of a bit more design feature on an interior wall. And there could be so much more. What could possibly go wrong? We'll start here on the south facing wall of the gym and spa. Sing and Rico, since first thing this morning, has been putting scaffolding up here. So they're going to be uh, starting on the waterproofing layer, the Plexibond uh, material from Boyson that they're using on this wall. But that's not the only area. On the west facing wall, O'Donnell's up there, possibly slightly oddly, putting a waterproofing layer on top of where they had previously skim coated. Once that's on and it's dry, they will skim coat again. Looking from through a window into the gym, Mr. Rene is fitting the edge tiles up by the door. So he's got a lot of these tricky little ones to do today. Uh, and then we'll see whether he still has time to start extending tiles down towards the spa area. Every day, site cleanup goes on. Coelito just cleaning out some of the rubble and building detrius that's formed over here. This is where, just here, they're continuing to mix up a lot of, uh, well, particularly tile adhesive dry pack, but also all sorts of other cement related compounds. And it does remain one area where they have not put down a wooden frame underneath. So they've got to be fairly quick. Once they do this, they have to clean it up quite quickly. Otherwise, you just get a build-up of this material on the floor, which, as it sets, just gives them a very hard time to remove it again. So far, they've been very good at cleaning up at the end of every day. This was not on the plan that I was told this morning, but that's a good thing. And Don Don is making a start on tiling in the main kitchen. So it is, you can see this tile over here, that is the same tile that we've used in the dirty kitchen. And again, that's because the general appearance of the two kitchens will be the same. There'll be a relatively dark gray cabinet fascia on all the cabinets in here as there will be in the dirty kitchen. So we wanted the two to kind of reflect each other a little bit. Well that's fantastic. Tiles in the kitchen. This is the downstairs hallway that they did yesterday but if we go down towards the end they've turned left. Let's go and have a look. They're heading down towards the front door. Frederick and Elson are working on this area, so I'm fairly confident they will get the central tiles down to the front door finished today. Uh, the original plan was that they would work on this area with Frederick and then they would work at the other end of this hallway with Don Don. But clearly, the plan has changed. Inside the dining room, Richard's back at work on this decorative feature on the wall. Uh, we mentioned yesterday that there'll be some mirrors in here. I think they will be pretty small. My understanding is one of them is in this fairly narrow area just here. And I'm not certain, but I think possibly in the very narrow vertical bit just below where he's putting uh, that screw in now that may be a mirror as well and if that is 
this little tiny one uh, may also be. So I think I I'm pleased about that. I don't want huge great mirrors in here, but a little bit might make for a very interesting feature. This is original Rico cleaning up the door frame, going into Aldrian's bathroom. The boss is back. Boss Alan back on site again. I don't know if that was a delivery this morning, but just having a chat with lead foreman Manny about what's going on today and possibly beyond that. From the inside looking out, here's O'Donnell working on that waterproofing of the exterior wall and I'm on the wrong side of the container, but this is what they've been using throughout. I'm not sure I can get around to it. Not really. It is a Boyson material plexibond. In Jack's bedroom, we've got Ernie. Just doing a little bit of uh, very basic sanding uh, across these top areas. I imagine in preparation for the next stage of painting again, or could be still skim coating at this point. And a moment ago, we have Mr. Willie in here as well. I'm not sure if they're both working in this room. I haven't seen Mr. Willie elsewhere on the site this morning, so we'll go and see if we can track him down. Uh, if I can't track him down, it means he is working in here. Well, that wasn't difficult. He's in the room next to us, or to where we were, so he's in Sabrina's bedroom and back on sanding again. And once again, it's those top edges prior to more skin coating. This is just a slightly different view of where they're heading with those downstairs hallway tiles. So moving down, can't quite see the end yet. Almost, but not quite. And they'll be heading down towards the front door with those brown tiles. The last of our three painters, Mr. Herwin with an H, just getting set up in Aldrian's bedroom. More skim coat going to be going on here. Back in the living room, uh, the suggestion we're getting at the moment is that the remaining tiles they need to finish here and then to start on the sunroom probably will be arriving today. There is no certainty with these things, but that's what they think. Earlier this morning, as happens virtually every day, Glenn was back in, cleaning the pool, and he was having a whiz around with the underwater vacuum cleaner again, just getting off any stuff that was near the bottom or on the side walls. Looking good again, still looking good. Hopefully those days of black water are completely behind us. Back here at the pond, what you might be able to make out is a lot of little ripples on the surface. It's not insects, it's not rain, it's fish. A couple of days ago, we got a delivery of, I have no idea how many, but we got a delivery of tilapia, small ones. So hopefully they'll grow in here. Uh, if you haven't come across tilapia before, they're one of the most common eating fish here in the Philippines. Really delicious, grilled, steamed, any way you like it. I don't know whether we also got some catfish in here. And I have to say, I hope we did. Because grilled catfish is one of my absolute favorites. So anyway, we have fish in a number of months. We won't be going out buying tilapia, hopefully. We'll be fishing it out of here. Post lunch. And you can see straight away, the waterproofing has continued apace. All of this area around the uh, east and south side of the spa, all done. But there's a lot more than that. At the back of the house, the west facing wall. They will, I am pretty confident. Yeah, I'm confident they'll finish all of this today. Whether they can get across and extend over to where the dirty kitchen is remains to be seen. 
but they do churn this out pretty fast. And there's more upstairs. Half of that is now done as well. Don't see anybody working up there right now, so maybe the right-hand side as we're facing it, maybe that doesn't get done today. I could do that. This is the floor for the gym. And still not quite done in the corners. And I misunderstood. I clearly hadn't been listening to my sour properly. But as we go down towards into the spa area, it's a different tile. So, we're going to have those two together. When it's all cleaned up, I think it'll look quite nice. So I suppose the idea is that this kind of more wooden look, you might say, is a bit more restful, which is, I guess, right for a spa. Tiling has continued. These central tiles going down towards the kitchen. But if I take a quick right turn, we now go very nearly down to the front door as well. All the fiddly bits on the outside still to be done, but we're starting to get a lot of this floor covered in the hallway. Here's the main kitchen. And quite a few tiles have gone in here and it does extend into the pantry. I do like this kind of tile actually. I think it's something quite, <laughs> something Manny's just pulling faces just off the camera shot. I think it'll fit in quite well. Something quite muted and will hopefully go well with the dark grey cabinets. In Jack's bedroom, Ernie's gone. So I guess they've finished this stage of skim coating for this room. He's moved elsewhere. Mr. Willie is in Sabrina's bedroom with his two skim coaterators. Right now, working on that window and the sill, but going all around the room, I think. Here's uh, Herwin with an H who, I'm not sure if he's lost weight, or he bought trousers that were too big, or he needs a belt, or that's just fashionable. Anyway, he is working on skim coat in George's room, right now just by the door, but uh, looking around a lot of this does need a minimum of one more coat. Original Rico, working on cleaning up door frames again. Now, I don't want to disturb him, so I'm not going to go inside, but inside the master bedroom, this is where Ernie has switched his attention and is applying more skim coat in here. He's actually stepped out for a moment, but he is focused at the moment in this room. And there's, again, a lot more skim coat still to be applied. Sorry, Alex. Nothing going on in your room at the moment. But it does appear as though maybe this is now the rec room. The recliner has been moved. Richard was the guy that was working on this decorative feature in the dining room. He's now on waterproofing duty. So I imagine that means that the wooden frame part of this is finished. There's a bit of a team meeting going on here. I don't know if there's a, any kind of an issue with the tiles that uh, are going in right now. I don't think so. Seems like work is continuing as normal, but maybe just some opinions being expressed. This was my little task this morning, which in the heat actually almost knocked me out. Uh, but it's the first thing that's been planted here, except the fruit trees by me lemongrass. So all we did was we took some store-bought lemongrass, put it in a plastic bottle with water, left it there for about a week, although I've seen people say you could do it in as little as a day. And sure enough, for almost all of these um, bits of lemongrass, roots sprouted. So today, I just dug out a little bit of a trench, put in some compost, 
although maybe that's not necessary. Lemongrass seems to be able to grow in pretty dubious soil from what I've seen. And then I've kind of mulched it a little bit with some grass clipping uh, just to try and help retain a little bit of water in there. Although at this time of year that may not be too much of an issue. This should be, we've not had any rain yet today, but you know, as I said yesterday, we, we get a lot. So water retention, despite this heat, probably not too big a deal. But let's see how this goes. Actually, these ones at the very end might fail. There were no signs of any root growth on that, just that one little clump. Don't know why. All the others had sprouted some pretty decent roots in just a week. So that's it, lemongrass. Stick it in tea, stick it in, well, particularly Asian curries, Thai curries, or Southeast Asian curries in particular, love it. It's not the first lemongrass we've got on the land. There is more elsewhere, but this is just a kind of a little tiny experiment to see if I actually do kill everything I plant or if something can survive. Wish me luck. The bell's gone, 4.30. Uh, this is turned into a slightly longer than normal video. So, for the little joke of the day, we're gonna go to Anton Hemming, who sent in something short and sweet. What do you call a bear with no ear? B. Top that. Right, let's go and see what they got on with today. Well, we can see from here, they very nearly finished the waterproofing across the west side, this side, just a little bit over the dirty kitchen, still to be done. And that means that once that little bit's done, it's just the front of the house. And then all around, they will have completed that task. In the spa area, Mr. René continued to add these wood-like uh, tiles. They're not wood, they're not engineered wood or anything like that, they are regular tiles. Uh, he's continuing down towards the main area of the spa. This is just a quick look at the patio. I mentioned yesterday mixing whatever it is, dry pack, cement, on a, on a floor isn't ideal unless you make sure you clean it up at the end of the day. And they do, every day. So we've got no residue left to set, uh, tiny pieces maybe, but uh, they're keeping this floor in good condition despite mixing material on top of it. And this is another look at the tiles for the downstairs hallway. So we've turned the corner uh, and again, got some of the central tiles in place. I did ask the engineer earlier on, why is it they always start in the middle and leave the fiddly bits until last. Uh, and I was given various explanations, but one of them made the most sense to me, and that is that when they lay out the floor with string lines, very often the string lines are set in corners. And so they like to leave those in place and then work to those. So there were other explanations like, oh, I don't know, I think they were all a bit iffy, but that one, made sense to me. Along with, I suppose, if you start from the outside edge, it is probably, I don't know for sure, harder to make sure that everything fits. If you're working from a centre, working to a wall, you know exactly how big that tile's got to be. If you're working from a wall into the centre, before the centre is laid, you've got more room for error. Anyone that's done tiling before, let me know, am I missing the point? Am I right? Why is it always the central tiles first? In the main kitchen, we've got a lot of tiles down now. All the way over to the door and quite a few inside the pantry. I, I don't want to risk standing on these, so I'll just take my word for it. There's quite a few in there, apart from the ones you can actually see. Good progress for just one day. I'm not completely certain, but I don't see any sign of uh, new tiles here. So I don't think we've had the delivery to finish off the living room and then to work on the area that I'm standing in, the 
the sunroom. In the master bedroom, this is where painter Ernie was working. Uh, and I'm not going to go around all the other bedrooms because it's increasingly difficult where I'm trying to pick out what they've done because it's white on white most of the time. Uh, and that's all it is in the other bedrooms uh, today, more white. I think it is all still skim coat, not actual paint yet. So we'll just assume that all three of them carried on busily adding white. The end of the day then. Uh, and no, I'm not going to crouch down behind the waterfall again. Still haven't recovered from two days ago. Uh, big day for waterproofing. Big day for floor tiling. Big day, although clearly harder to make out, for skim coating. Those are the main features today, and I'm guessing more of the same tomorrow, although with only one uh, side of the house left to waterproof, maybe slightly less focus there. Build delicious. Yeah, come on, that was. I like the tiles that are going in, I have to. I like the fact that we're nearly waterproofed on walls uh, and I like white, which is a good job at this point. Uh, it won't remain white, but I like white. End of the day, see you tomorrow.